Welcome to Awning Composer version 5, Tips and Tricks. This video is a quick start guide to Awning Composer 5. After installing, open version 5 using the icon on your desktop. The first time you run the software, you will need to register it. Your registration information can be found through your login at awningcomposer.com. If you do not have your login information, please contact us at help at awningcomposer.com. Once you are finished entering your information, select OK to complete the registration. The first time you open version 5, a help guide will pop up. This help guide will walk you through the software and can be opened at any time by clicking on the question mark at the top right of the screen. Let's open a backdrop to get started. The set backdrop icon is split into two sections. The bottom half allows you to directly open a picture from your computer. The top half will open thumbnails in three folders, sample backdrops, pictures, and desktop. The last two folders can be changed at any time by clicking on the select folder button and choosing a different folder. I'm going to use a photo that I've already taken of a storefront and uploaded into the My Pictures folder of my computer. Just double click on the picture to use it. Only Composer will walk you through each step to set up your photo. Step 1. Was the photo taken straight on or at an angle? For tips during this process, just hover the mouse over the question mark for an explanation. Step 2. Set the scale. Since I know the height of the door is 7 feet, I will enter 7 feet into the text box and select Next. Zoom in closer to the door and left click on the top of the door and then on the bottom of the door to finish setting the scale. Step 3. What kind of 3D ground do you want? Invisible with shadows only, visible with shadows, or no ground at all? If you're using 3D ground, just position the ground into place. Hit finish and you're ready to design your awning. You can return to the backdrop tab to change any of these settings at any time. 